Here we take a look at the retroperitoneal structures and the posterior abdominal wall. Starting with the posterior abdominal wall is the peritoneum. The parietal peritoneum is what lines the abdominal cavity against the abdominal wall. That layer of tissue between the transverse abdominus muscle shown here and the parietal peritoneum is the transversalis fascia. That transversalis fascia extends into a collection of fat around this organ, which is called the perirenal adipose tissue. We see these organs here are the suprarenal or adrenal glands, and these organs here are the right and left kidneys. Looking closer at the kidneys, we see the shiny outer surface called the capsule, the part of the kidney where the vessels enter and exit is called the hilum. And if we dissect into the kidney, we see the outer portion called the cortex, and the inner portion is called the medulla. The medulla contains columns in between pyramids. The end of the pyramids are renal papilla. These papilla drain into minor calyces, and the minor calyces then drain into major calyces, which are simply spaces which empty into a common feature called the renal pelvis. Taking a look at the muscles of the posterior abdominal wall, we first look at the ilium, and this specific part of the ilium, called the, shown in blue, called the iliac crest, it is the inferior attachment of this muscle, which is the transversus abdominis muscle. We have this muscle of respiration called the thoracic diaphragm. The origin of the diaphragm is this tendon here called the central tendon. And through it, we have three major structures. The first one is the vena cava going through this hole in the diaphragm called the caval hiatus. And we have the esophagus piercing through the esophageal hiatus. And we have the aorta coming through the aortic hiatus. The tendons of the diaphragm, which form the aortic hiatus, are the one on the right called the right cruise, and this other on the left called the left cruise, which attach to the spinal column. Muscles in the posterior abdominal wall include psoas major, so as minor, quadratus lumborum, and iliacus. So I've removed the organs and vessels from the right side for clarity. Let's start with this nerve here, which is an extended ventral ramus of E12. The subcostal nerve. We have the next nerve down is the ilio-hypogastric nerve. We have the 
ilio inguinal nerve. So ilio hypergastric, ilio inguinal, which traces right along the inguinal canal, sorry, the inguinal ligament. Here we look at two nerves that go deep to the inguinal ligament, starting with this one is the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, and more medial and larger is the femoral nerve. We also have these nerves, which are branches of the genitofemoral nerve, this being the femoral branch, this being the genital branch. We also have this nerve called the obturator nerve for obvious reasons. And then as always, this nerve running parallel to the spinal column all the way up the thoracics is the sympathetic trunk.